<laughs> basically back to my channel or welcome if you're new <laughs> my name's Cameron oh my god I got Invisalign okay I can't talk properly cuz I just put these things cuz I just put these things in I have no clue why I'm making this video right now well I do but I don't it is 2 30 obviously as you read by the title um I wasn't I wasn't joking I have wanted to cut my hair off for a very long time Reason being is, all of you probably know, I'm a dancer. Just talk right, do right. I feel like for me, I've always struggled with my hair. I've always struggled with accepting it. And actually for a long time, I was trying to accept it. I was trying to do different styles and all that stuff. But then I just realized I hate it. I'm done, I'm cutting it off. And that's not just right now. I've hated my hair basically all my life which is kind of sad, but at the same time, it's not that I don't like natural hair, it's just that I don't like my natural hair right now, and I'm trying to build it back up, and I'm trying to get it stronger, so like, in the future, I can have that full hair, and right now what my hair is, like, I'm not happy with it, and I'm trying to start over, so that's why I'm doing it. As a dancer throughout the years, it's just kind of been the thing that I feel like was weighing me down, and that's like, probably so weird to some people, but I just, I always had to either wear weave, I had to wear it straight, had to wear it natural. You worry about if the weave gonna fall out, you worry about if your hair is gonna puff up because you know it's straight, you worried about if your natural hair is gonna mess up, if somebody bumps you the wrong way, then up oh, you look stupid for the rest of the day. And then your hair is flat and then it's just, it was just too much. I honestly did not dance to my full potential in some settings. If I was already uncomfortable and intimidated, I didn't dance to my full potential. It's just, my hair's always been my insecurity. And honestly, I was just sitting in my bed on my Pinterest. I have a whole board full of people with natural short hair. And I'm just like, bro, like why am I still looking at it? Like you wanna do it, just do it. And especially now that I'm out of school, I was gonna do this after graduation, but at this point, that's not happening. Well, it might be happening, but at the time they're saying it's gonna be at, I won't be attending. I just feel like I wanna do it now. This is a thing for me. I don't really care what anybody else has to say about it. I love short hair. Me and my mom love short hair. I feel like this is gonna be really freeing for me. I honestly feel like it's gonna turn me into like a new person. And I'm already confident as it is, but ooh, it's like I'm almost there, like I'm almost confident. It's just everything is fine until I get to my hair. But yeah, here is a little inside of Cameron's life at almost three in the morning. I will show y'all my damaged and brittle hair now. Here are some damaged people, like do you see that? I actually grew up with thick hair and then I started doing so much stuff to it. Never learned my lesson with heat, obviously, because this just happened. I think I just stopped caring. I'm doing pretty good talking with these things in, I think. It's fine in the middle. This isn't exactly damaged, but to me, something's just off. It's not bad at length. It's just so uneven and it's, I, ugh. I just, I don't like it. And if I don't like a part of myself, then what am I doing? This is just so depressing. So these are the scissors I'm using. Okay, that was bad. These are the scissors I'm using. I need motivation. No one's gonna stop you. If people make fun of you, fuck it. You only look once, it's gonna grow back. Period. Don't listen to people. Don't listen, listen to your people. brain. I can do it. I just wet it some more. And now I'm having fun playing in it. <laughs> I got me a little Walmart bag here. I'm recording something on my phone. Listen to your brain and your mind. <sighs> that was no, oh, no curls in sight at all. Okay. <gasps> should I section this? I should probably section it. Oh, wow. It's just hair and it's gonna grow back. Struggling! <laughs> Basically. Oh 
Um, okay. So that's a start. Might as well finish now, I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this in the morning. There's still straight pieces. See, I have to cut it so short and I'm honestly not even mad about it. Uh, see, I'm saying again. All right, I'm good. There's my mirror, in case you can't see my reflection right there. Hey y'all. I know you wanna hang on, but I'm sorry. Around here is where it breaks off and this just, gotta go. I have hated this for so long. These front pieces I have hated. There we go. Ugh. Bye bye. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, but I, I didn't know what I was doing in the first place. If you're a hairstylist, please don't watch this video. I know. Oh my god. Half my hair is gone. That's okay though. Wow. What an idiot I am. There's still freaking heat damage. I said damage. <laughs> I don't have no hair. No, ooh, I don't have no hair. Mm -mm. I don't have no hair. I would say the main reason I've been putting this off for so long is because you don't know if you're one of those people who looks good with short hair until you cut your hair. I'm really surprised my mom hasn't come in here and been like, shut up. And no, I'm not going through midlife crisis or midlife. Girl, shut up. No, I'm not going through a life crisis or anything. Life's good, you know? <laughs> I'm not on drugs, I swear. Last couple pieces. I am so surprised I didn't cut myself. Round of applause for me, okay? Whoa. Oh my god. It's so uneven. I'm just happy I actually followed through. If I couldn't sit here and talk to my camera, there's no way I would have got through this. <laughs> hey. I'm fine. I'm really fine. Hey, fast forward a couple days. I had a mental breakdown or like 17. I did not like my hair when I first cut it, but for some reason today I just woke up and I was like, that's cute. Right now I'm gonna get reactions from my family because I've been hiding this from them for the past three days, I wanna say. Hello. Yeah. Can you come in my room? Any day now. Yeah. Did you not notice anything about me? Can you close the door? They're so loud. <laughs> when did you do that? <laughs> I did it like four days ago and I hid it from all you. Four days ago? You shaved your head? Who did it? I did. You did that for real? Yeah. It looks great. Does it? Yeah. I love four it. Four days ago. I love it though. <gasps> Four days ago. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> Four what? days ago. It looks good on you though. Oh man, Cam, I am so proud of you. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> My baby. Well, she wanted I'm to do it for a done. long time. And I she did. finally did it. <laughs> do you like it? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Do you have a break? I can't go in there. I guess I can just show you. Shh, everybody be quiet. Can I Hi, Mom. I have a baby. Yeah. Four days ago. Dad! Dad! Come to me. You just cut your hair with your, with your scissors? Yeah. yeah. I'm sweating so bad. My mom just told me that she was gonna have a barber come in on my birthday and cut all my hair off because she knew I wanted to do it, but I ruined it. <laughs> I was just a little bit impatient. I probably should have waited because then I wouldn't have a bald spot in my head right in the front and you can see it, but 
It's okay. Sorry, I really don't want to tell DJ. I know y'all are probably gonna be mad at me. You know I wanted to cut my hair too, but he has he has no clue. I don't want to right now. I'm just really scared, and that probably sounds so stupid. When he sees this, he's gonna be like, "What are you scared for?" But. I don't know. So basically, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.